light of the world you step down into darkness open my eyes let me see beauty that made this whole heart adore you hope of a life spent with you So here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God, you're altogether lovely, altogether worthy, altogether wonderful to me. You are king of all days, so highly exalted, glorious in heaven above. Humbly you came to the earth you created, all for love's sake became poor. In your all, here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God, you're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. And I'll never know how much it costs to see my sin upon the cross. I'll never know how much it costs to see my sin upon the cross. That's such a great song that Donovan just sang, Here I Am to Worship, and I love just the intentional statement of that song. Uh, often when I show up in my time with God, if I'm honest, and this isn't a wrong thing, I often kind of know what I want from Him, or I feel like I'm going to Him with an idea of how I want Him to show up uh, in my life. And so the statement, here I am just to worship. I'm here to worship you for who you are, to say that you're my God. Uh, and allow you, God, just to speak into my life, whatever it is that you want to speak into my life. Because a lot of times I show up with a statement, here I am uh, to have you fix something. Here I am to get an answer for this question I have. Here I am to have you fill this need in my life. And those aren't wrong things at all. But there's something powerful in just saying, here I am just to worship you, God, and do what you will in my life. In John chapter 4, Jesus is talking to this woman, the Samaritan woman at the well. And as a part of that conversation, he says, there's a time coming when it won't matter the place that you worship, but it matters to God that you'll worship in spirit and truth, that it's going to be authentic. And then he goes on to talk about later in that chapter, uh, after he tells this woman that he is the Messiah, he's the, he is God sent to earth uh, to reconcile man and to fix the problem of our mess and of our sin. And he says, I have a kind of food that you don't know anything about. He says, my nourishment comes from doing the will of God who sent me and from finishing his work. So whatever our need is often, something that we don't know anything about, the way God's gonna show up and fulfill us is a way we haven't thought of yet. And so I love this example in scripture where God just shows up and uh, people's response. So in the Old Testament, he says, he says, Abraham, and Abraham just says, here I am. Uh, Jacob says, here I am. Isaiah says, here I am, send me God, whatever you want. Samuel says, here I am, speak to me. And so that's my desire today is just to show up to God and he has, food, he has nourishment, he has what I need uh, that I don't even know that I need yet. And so let's pray together and let's show up for God to speak into our lives uh, and to change us as we worship him in spirit and truth. So God, thank you today uh, that you have something for us um, that maybe we haven't even thought about yet. More than likely we haven't because your ways are so much higher than our ways. 
But we sing this song, we sing these words to you today, that here I am just to worship you, to love you, to say that you're my God, that you're altogether lovely, you're faithful, you're wonderful to us, God. So we are here. We ask you to speak to us, to send us, to lead us, to do the work that you've called us to do in this world, to introduce others to you and to follow you more closely today than we did yesterday. We thank you for leading us in that and that you will continue to speak to us and lead us. We love you. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen.